Hello everyone, my name is Nicole, my animal rescue is Tirlib, and behind me I have my chicken Goldilocks. She has not been doing too well for the past couple of days. Isn't that right, girl? I have come to the conclusion that she has gape worm, which is a worm that lodges itself in their trachea. And so the reason why it's called gape worm is because they the one of the m main symptoms is gaping or yawning. She's also shaking her head and kind of like gasping for air, so she's not not feeling too well right now. So I'm try the they can infect other birds too because of course they like to eat each, each other's vomit and so she's kind of having to be separated from them for a bit just give her some extra care um, but humans cannot get gape worm from chickens as long as they don't eat their vomit and poop so that does not count eggs I don't believe she's not really laying eggs right now anyway so the best way to take care of it with, at home is by putting apple cider vinegar in their water which I have been doing for her she doesn't really enjoy drinking so I have to make her don't I girl yeah and I have some oatmeal in case she ever gets hungry she still doesn't want to eat which is fine for now I'm gonna keep trying though yeah, that's it yeah that's her kind of Trying to get him out, huh, girl? She, she's, she has me worried. She was not doing well at all last night. She's just tired. She just wants to sit there. I brought her inside for extra care, and it's raining and sleeting outside right now. So, just want to keep her warm. She is still pooping, so I can tell that she's not. That the reason that she's acting like this is not egg bound, and she's been like this for a while. And chickens can only survive. 24 to 48 hours being egg bound, so I don't know why she's not laying eggs. I'm not sure if gape worm has anything to do with not laying eggs or there's something else wrong with her, but right now I'm just focusing on the gape worm. But if when I need her to drink, I just grab her water. She's not gonna try drinking, she just kind of looks at it. Um. But, how I get her to drink is, er, let's see, I need to get a good angle. I'll grab a cat toy. <laughs> there we go. So, the way I get her to drink is taking it up to her face and just kind of pushing her head into the water. And then if she's really thirsty, she'll just gulp it down. Um, but she's not too thirsty right now. She's been getting plenty of water. She was inside of this small crib thing just standing there, but she's already seems to be feeling better, so she came up and perched. But I'm gonna keep her inside for a little bit longer, just keep an eye on her. Um, give her some special food. If I do that outside, the others will just take it all from her. So, I'm doing my best to make sure she doesn't infect the rest of the flock. Because if she coughs them up or um, poops them out and then other flies or bugs eat them, then the chickens will eat those bugs and then they can get infected. So, it's pretty easy to spread through one flock. That's so it's important to keep your bugs under control and to move your birds around. So that's why lots of people have chicken tractors, not just because they want fresh greens. So this, oh look at you! You have a cute face. You look like a hawk. Should I have named you Hawk? No, you're Goldilocks. So I will keep you updated on her. 
Hopefully she'll feel better, be able to go back out with the flock bee, like her old self again. Looking into some other medications like Aviverm, um, which I've found on the internet. I don't know where to get though, so I don't know if we'll do that or just keep treating her at home. So hopefully she can pull through, but if she doesn't, at least I'll know I tried. Hey girl, all right, I'm gonna let her get her, let her get some sleep. So. So I brought Goldilocks back outside. It is still raining, but it's not that bad. Goldilocks was feeling, she was inside for probably just only a couple hours. She was already beginning to feel more bright. She, she, I couldn't stop her from moving around. She kept pooping on my floor. So I decided to bring her back out. She's over here. She still isn't as good as I would like her to be, but she's drinking herself. She was eating herself earlier, so she's obviously feeling better after just a little bit of extra care. I'm still going to keep a close eye on her. If she needs to, I'll bring her back inside, but if she wants to move around, I brought her back outside, so hopefully, I can tell she's doing better, so hopefully she'll live a long, long, healthy life. It is just past 10 right now, and I was hoping Goldilocks would be feeling better by now. But she really is not doing well at all. She is back inside. Um, got her little corner right here. Goldilocks, sorry. Hey, hey girl. She has just gone so far that I don't think there's really anything I can do for her. If she dips her head, she throws up, so she's back inside. The weather's still bad, so just making her feel worse, so she's in. I really wish I could make her feel better, but there's not really anything else I can do, so the poor Goldie girl. So sweet, but I can do it. All right, so it's the next morning at 11 a.m. and I just got Goldilocks to eat. Come on, eat. Yeah. Oh, and now she throws up in it, of course. Gotta throw up for the video, huh? Silly girl. Come on, show everyone that you can eat. See the camera? Are you camera shy? There you go, good girl. So she's finally realized that she's hungry and thirsty. She was drinking earlier too, so. I realized I'm just trying to get her to do things fast and I really should not rush her. I'm still trying of course, but and so, if she pulls through, that's great, and I, I saved her, but if, even if she doesn't, I say no, I'll try, so. Um, keep her in your prayers. Hopefully I can get her to pull through, even though I've told everyone I don't think I can save her, but maybe I can. But, thank you everyone for watching. Bye. Hello again, um, I'm in my backyard right now. It's really beautiful right now and this story has taken a lot of turns. There are points where I said, I know I can't save her even though I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna make her as happy as I possibly can. 
And there were other points where I was like, I think she's gonna pull through, and that's where the last clip was. I thought she was gonna make it because of the medicine, but um, yesterday she took a turn for the worst. She w couldn't eat or drink. Um, and this morning I took her outside and we sat in her, we sat in the swing for a bit. Um, and it, she, whenever I was holding her, we were almost always in that swing. She loved sitting there with me and um, it, then it got, she looked, she looked up at me and she looked like she said, don't worry about me. And then it got really sunny, like it had been gloomy all morning, and I'm not exaggerating either, it was gloomy all morning, and suddenly it got super sunny and really bright, and she opened her eyes really wide, and she looked straight up into the sky as if to say, I'm ready, and not long later, she was gone, so I wasn't able to save her, and I'm going to miss her, but at least she's in a better place now. Thank you everyone for the prayers. Um, even though I don't have her anymore, she's happy and she's healthy and safe now, so. And so it's May 6th right now, May 6th, 2019, and just past 10. And as I laid her in her box, looked at her the last time I told her, Goldilocks, you will always be the gold locked in my heart. So, knowing that she's happy now, I'll let that be my comfort.